welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogtober. I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I am Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Lucy because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and come back every two days for October for a new video. Today we're going to be doing an empties video. I'm going to be showing you all the goodies that I've used up. I actually don't know what's in here, so let's, let's discover together. Let's get straight into the video. <laughs> let's see what's inside the bag. First up, and a heavy one, is a perfume that I've used up. I'm so proud of myself for using perfume because as you can probably tell, and if you watch my perfume collection video, I will leave it linked down below if you haven't already. Um, I have a lot of perfumes. So this is the Katy Perry Killer Queen perfume, which just looks like this. It is beautiful. Um, I would actually buy that again, but as you can tell, I don't need to because I have too many perfumes as it is. <laughs> Next one, it would not be an MD's video of mine if I didn't have some dry shampoo in here. It is a lifesaver. It is the Batiste dry shampoo. This is the fruity and cheeky cherry one. I'm currently using the blonde one, but I think I'll end up going back to a like normal one because I think it's just a bit better for my hair um, colour wise. Another perfume that I've used up. This is a mini of the Brittany um, Fantasy perfume. This is a 30 milliliter one, which looks like this. I've had this for a very long time, actually. I'm not sure if I've got another one. I feel like I might have another one, but I absolutely love this. It reminds me of being in year nine in secondary school and just being carefree child and just loving life. And I just love that perfume. And I would buy that again, but like I said, I don't need to. <laughs> Next one is a big one from Soap and Glory. It's very rare, like rare for me to have a empties video about Soap and Glory in it. So this is a Soap and Glory one. This is a huge clean on me bottle, 500 milliliters. I absolutely love this. I still, I've been saying this for years, I don't enjoy the pump. It just doesn't pump out enough and you have to like squish it and then wait for it to come back up or pull it back up. It's just not the best pump, but I love it. I love it. I actually have all my face on as well. Next one is a bit of a random one. This is Surgical Spirit and I basically use this to clean my makeup brushes. I don't think I would reach for it. I think I'd go more for a brush shampoo in the future, but for like spot cleaning, um, like if I was going to do like client makeup, I'd go back to this. But for myself, where I can leave my brushes to dry overnight, I just use brush shampoo. But this is what it looks like and it smells like peppermint. Of course, I've got a roll on because like, I go through these like there's no tomorrow. This is just a Dove one. Um, I'm lo loving Dove again now. I used to like the Mitchum, but it would dry really funny on my armpits. So I've just gone back to Dove now because it's just true and tested. And it's, I know that it's good for me. The next one is a shower cream. This is a Beyonce Pulse one, the perfume. This is the Luminous Shower Cream. It's a 75ml bottle. It just looks like this. I, I wouldn't buy this again, to be honest with you. It's just not my thing. I'd rather have Soap and Glory or something like this. Or I'd go for something like this. This is Being by Sanctuary Spa. This is their Cloudberry and Lychee, or Lychee, however you pronounce it, Blossom Body Wash. This is a 50ml bottle. And this smells phenomenal. And I'd rather go for this than the Beyonce one. Oh, I'd go for like a Ted Baker one because their um, shower gels, like the smell lasts so long. Another shower gel that I've used up, this is the Winter in Venice Grapefruit Peony Body Wash, um, power bin free, 60 milliliters, just looks like this. Um, this came in a big gift set that I got in Secret Santa at work, so I wouldn't buy this again because I don't even know where I'd get it from. Um, and it was nice, but it just didn't wow me enough for me to be like, I need to hold that down. A hair product that I've used up is the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Hairspray. I went through this, it took me like forever and a day to get through this. And rightfully so, because obviously it is pricey. But it really does make a difference, it really does make your hair thicker. And I, I would definitely recommend it. The shampoo and conditioner of it, not so much, but the actual thickening spray is amazing. I would really recommend that. Some more hair stuff, both from the brand Hask. We have, first of all, the Super Fruit Healthy Hair Deep Conditioner, which just looks like this. And I just use, it, you get quite a lot of this, but I just did one, um, one go of it all in my hair, really let it soak into my hair, and then rinsed it off. It made my bath a little bit slippy, which I didn't realise because I rinsed it out over the bath. And then my mum got in the bath and nearly, nearly, nearly died. I'm nearly died. It was that slippery. Be naked. naked. <laughs> so yeah, if you do put this on, make sure you rinse your, the bottom of your bath out afterwards because 
apparently it's slippery. <laughs> the other one is the Hask Argan Oil. This again took me forever to get through. So I'd highly recommend buying it from like Boots or Superdrug. It is definitely worth every penny. This is their repairing shine hair oil. And I put this on my hair every single time I blow dried it. I would saturate the ends of my hair with it. At the moment I'm using a keratin one of these. This is my second blue one that I've gone through now. And highly, highly recommend them. And I would definitely, definitely buy them again. They're really, really, really good. Second from last, we actually have a makeup remover, like a beauty balm. This is the Beauty Kitchen Handbag Beauty Balm. And I was actually using this as a cleanser. Like it is well and truly used up. And it just looks like this. I've actually been sent in a um, latest and beauty box this, but a hydrate and a nourish version, like a green version. So I'm looking forward to trying that, but I've just started using the Avon one, so I'll see what that one's like first, and then I'll go into the other ones. And then we actually have one makeup product, which I'm very proud of myself for using a makeup product up. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Black. Just looks like this. It, I think it was like £5 or something, but it's literally... The brush could be improved a little bit. The brush could do with like being a bit more like gimme brow kind of shape, but the actual product is amazing. Like, amazing to the point where I don't even do anything with my brows anymore. I literally just brush this through. Bish, bash, bosh. Yeah, eyebrows are done. And I think because it's black as well, it stood out more. So I could literally just push it through like a couple of times and then it'd be done. So I would definitely be buying this again. But I've got so many gimme brows and so many different brow um, gels that I need to get through first. So eventually, I'll buy this again because I love it. Absolutely love it. So that is everything that I have used up. Like I said, I'm uploading a new video every two days throughout this vlogtober. I hopefully will see you in two days time. I'm also doing bonus videos of weekly vlogs throughout this whole um, October as well. So I'll hopefully see you then and get to know you a little bit more. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. I put my 7,000 subscriber giveaway up, so I'll leave it all linked down below. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>